In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to record yourself on Microsoft Teams. Recording meetings is a fantastic way to revisit conversations, take detailed notes, or even share the session with those who couldn't attend. Recording yourself on Teams is straightforward, and I'll walk you through the entire process, ensuring you understand each step and some additional tips for optimizing your recording experience. First things first, you'll need to open your Microsoft Teams application and make sure you're signed in with your credentials. Once that's done, navigate to the Calendar tab on the left-hand side of the interface. This section is where all your scheduled meetings will appear, giving you a complete overview of your day or week. Suppose you haven't yet scheduled a meeting you want to record, no worries. You can click on New Meeting in the top right corner. From there, Fill in the meeting details, like the title, date, time, and any attendees you want to invite. Alternatively, if you're jumping into an already scheduled meeting, find the meeting in your calendar and click on it to join. Once you've joined the meeting or started your new session, you'll notice a set of controls appearing on the screen. These include options to mute yourself, turn your camera on and off, and so forth. To kickstart the recording process, Direct your attention to the More Actions button, which appears as three dots. This lets you access a host of additional features and is the key to beginning your recording. Click on Start Recording and you'll hear a notification letting participants know that the meeting is now being recorded. It's essential to inform everyone that the meeting is being recorded for transparency and because different jurisdictions may have varying rules and norms about recording conversations. Also, if any participants don't want to be recorded, this is the point where they can turn off their cameras or mute their microphones. Once you're done with the meeting and ready to stop the recording, head back to the More Actions menu and choose Stop Recording. Teams will process your recording automatically, and it'll be accessible within the meeting's chat or channel for review. Remember to download and save the recording if you think you'll need it outside of Teams. Navigate to the chat associated with the meeting, find the recording, and download it to your local machine or cloud storage. This ensures you'll have direct access without needing to sift through past chats. In conclusion, recording on Microsoft Teams is an invaluable skill for professional and personal purposes. By understanding and following these steps, you'll be ready to capture important meetings seamlessly. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing for more tutorials. Stay tuned for our next video, where I'll give you tips on how to enhance your Microsoft Teams experience even further. Thanks for watching.